massive underwater monsters, cute but deadly creatures, and alien-looking abominations. Join me as we take a look at the top 15 most amazing jellyfish sightings. Number 15, the Phantom Jelly. In early December of 2021, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute was conducting an underwater exploration off the coast of California at a depth of around 3,200 feet. They often send remote submersibles to these depths to try to discover new species, but on this occasion, they couldn't believe what they were looking at. Without any warning, a huge, giant phantom jellyfish came into view in what is believed to be just the 110th sighting of one of these creatures in the past century. The species, which is known to live at depths of up to 22,000 feet, grow bells that are up to 3 feet in diameter and have a series of mouth arms which are like tentacles that dangle up to 33 feet below their bodies. They're a deep reddish color, which makes them virtually invisible in the depths where there's very little light. And rather than stinging their prey, it's believed that their four long arms are instead used to grab targets and push them up towards their mouth. As they're only seen on rare occasions, however, very little is actually known about their life cycles and how they feed. They are believed to live in the depths all around the world and are being encountered more frequently in recent years thanks to the increased number of submersibles that are exploring their habitats. And because researchers suspect that they're making use of the larger number of man-made underwater structures to latch onto while they search for food. Number 14, Deep Sea Firework. This footage was recorded by a remote-operated submersible in 2018 during an expedition off the coast of an archipelago which is part of the Baja California state of Mexico. At a depth of around 4,000 feet and with the only light being the beam from the lamps of the sub, the screen was suddenly filled with vibrant colors as a species of jellyfish began to swim past. Known scientifically as Halotrephes masi, or more commonly known as the deep sea firework, this species of jellyfish is normally invisible in the dark, but the presence of artificial light illuminates all of their internal organs. The sources of color are in fact the radial canals within the bell that are responsible for moving nutrients through its body and create a starburst pattern of yellows and pinks. Their tentacles are also illuminated because of the compounds contained within them, but very little is actually known about them. Due to the depth in which they live, we don't even know the normal size that these jellies can grow to, but so far they've been spotted in the waters of the Atlantic, Indo-Pacific, Arctic, and Pacific Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea, which suggests they're present all over the globe. Number 13. Dolphin Juggling a Jelly most people normally approach jellyfish with a reasonable amount of caution because of the potential risk their stinging tentacles can pose. But for other marine animals, jellies are a facet of everyday life. In most cases, they're seen as a food source. But this incredible footage that was captured in Sunabug Harbor, Denmark in 2019 shows that they have other uses too. A boat tour was traveling across the harbor with guests hoping to get an opportunity to spot one of the many dolphins that live there. As soon as they saw a breach in the water, they pointed their camera towards it and saw a dolphin emerging. It seemed to lift its head up and down a few times and splash around in the water before an object is launched up into the air and the dolphin races to try to catch it. It was only after watching this playful behavior for a few moments that the friends who captured the video realized what was happening. The dolphin was toying with a jellyfish. It's far from being the first time that a dolphin has been seen to be enjoying itself. After all, pods have, on occasion, been known to inhale toxins from pufferfish for fun. But it was the first time one was seen using a jellyfish for a game of catch, and it makes you wonder just how often they actually do this. Number 12. Barrel Jellyfish Usually, when you're swimming or diving in the ocean, most of the creatures you encounter will be smaller than you. It's quite unnerving when you encounter something that's larger, because this can often mean you're in a potentially dangerous situation. But luckily, the divers in this next video were able to keep calm and take time to enjoy what was happening. They were in the water off the coast of Cornwall in the UK and suddenly found themselves swimming alongside a giant barrel jellyfish, a species that can easily grow to be larger than a person. Also known as the dustbin lid jellyfish, it's the largest species of jelly in the waters around the UK and can be easily identified not just because of their size, but their eight frilly arms that are in fact stinging tentacles. It's quite rare for swimmers to see a barrel jelly up close like this, and while it may seem as if they could easily get caught up in the tentacles, the venom is only considered to be moderate in strength and if it made contact would only cause mild burning sensations. 
Knowing that there was very little risk, the divers on this occasion decided to continue moving with the jelly and did so for an hour before it returned to the depths. Number 11. The Mariana Trench Jelly Due to its depth, the Mariana Trench is one of the least explored oceanic regions on Earth. Reaching far below the seabed, it had long been theorized that the water pressures in sea trenches were too great for any organisms to survive. But recent explorations have begun to find a surprising number of different species. In 2016, a deep-sea research mission set off from southern Guam to capture footage from the entire length of the deepest trench across a series of dives. But it was the fourth dive which ventured to a formation known as the Enigma Seamount that revealed the biggest surprise. At a depth of around 12,000 feet, they captured footage of this never-before-seen species of jellyfish, and one that hasn't been seen since. It clearly shows that the jelly has two different types of tentacles, some short and some long, and its behavior at the beginning, where it has its tentacles flayed out in all directions, suggests that it's an ambush predator and waits for something to make contact with it before snapping into action and capturing it. With discoveries like these, researchers are starting to think that we've only just scratched the surface as to the variety of jellyfish that there are. There could be many hundreds or even thousands of species still waiting to be found. Number 10. Jellyfish Headgear You're probably already familiar with the fact that certain species of crabs can use virtually any object they find as a makeshift shell. But have you ever heard of using a living creature as a protective shield? If you're swimming in the waters of the Pacific, such as around Indonesia or the Philippines or in the Caribbean, then this might be something you encounter, and you should pay special attention to any jellyfish that you see moving along the seabed. That's because there's a species called Cassiopeia, which is one that lives upside down compared to what you'd normally expect. Burying the medusa into the sediment on the sea floor, they allow their tentacles to shimmer in the current and capture anything that swims past. At the same time, however, they may also develop a symbiotic relationship with a carrier crab, which is a species that's more commonly known for holding sea urchins on top of them as they move about. On these rare occasions, the carrier crab will seemingly wear the jellyfish as a hat, something that gives the crab an extra layer of protection and allows the jelly to filter water across a greater area than would be possible if they had remained stationary. Number 9. Box Jellyfish Of all the jellyfish in the oceans, the ones that you want to be the most careful of are box jellies. There are 51 different known species, most of which are native to the Indo-Pacific, but they can be found further afield across the Atlantic and the Mediterranean too. Taking on a distinctly box shape, tentacles hang from each of the four corners that can hang up to 10 feet beneath them. Along these appendages are a series of thousands of needle-like structures that, if touched, will pierce the skin and inject a potent mixture of neurotoxins that will definitely be painful and can, in rare circumstances, even lead to death. It's something you'd rather not encounter in the water, but box jellyfish sightings have been increasing in recent decades, something believed to be a result of climate change and the way they have to travel greater distances in search of food. Just because you spot one doesn't mean you're safe either, because rather than floating on the current like most jellies, box jellyfish can actually move surprisingly fast. The shape of their bell means that the aperture is restricted, so when they pulsate, a powerful jet is produced that can propel them at speeds of up to 20 feet per minute. Number 8. Venetian Jellyfish Venice is one of the most romantic cities in the world, thanks to its vast network of canals, but people have lived in the region for well over 2,000 years. Many of the buildings are hundreds of years old, and with such history of human activity, the water isn't exactly what you consider to be clean. And while it may be wonderful to travel along by boat, it's not the most appealing to swim in. It's also murky, too, thanks to the frequent boat traffic which churns up the sediment from the bottom, and means it's rare to see beneath the surface, let alone see aquatic life of any sort. But this miraculously changed during the COVID pandemic when tourism and pollution reduced to just a fraction of what it was before. Venetian residents began noticing the water was clearing up, and then this video emerged that shows a jellyfish swimming in one of the canals. Other animals have begun to be spotted more often, too, and it shows just how much of an impact humans are having on a range of different ecosystems. This footage of the jellyfish has since been put forward as an argument of why things should never be allowed to return to how they were before in Venice, and there are now calls for the limitations on the number of boats that are allowed to travel through the city in the hope it'll result in a much cleaner and enjoyable experience for everyone. Number 7. Irish Swarm 
Growing to a diameter of up to 10 inches, compass jellyfish are a common sight across the Atlantic where they're identifiable by the patterning on their bells that looks like the points on a compass. Despite knowing all about them, this didn't stop two divers from having the surprise of their lives in the summer of 2021, however, as they entered the waters off the coast of Donegal in Ireland. They found themselves surrounded by a swarm of thousands of the jellies, some of which had stinging tentacles that were more than 16 feet long. As they were wearing thick wetsuits, they knew that the jellies didn't actually pose any danger to them. Instead of swimming back to shore, like most people would have done, they instead decided to continue swimming with the swarm for several hours and were able to capture some incredible imagery while they did. After sharing the footage online, they said it was one of the most magical experiences of their lives, both because of how large the bloom actually was and because of how unfazed the animals were to having humans swimming alongside them. Number 6. The Big Pink some species of jellyfish live in such difficult-to-reach places and are present in so few numbers that they're only seen on extremely rare occasions, leading researchers to often question whether they're even real at all. That was once the case for the stinging cauliflower, or the big pink, and has only been seen five times in the past 150 years. The most recent sighting took place in 2020 off the coast of Miramar, Italy, when two divers were performing a routine patrol of the marine reserve. They couldn't believe their eyes when they first spotted the pink gelatinous blob floating past them and immediately made sure to capture evidence on video. The first recorded sighting was documented in 1880 off the Dalmatian coast and none has been seen for more than 70 years before one was spotted in 2014. As a result, very little is actually known about this species other than its color and the fact it seems to grow to a size of around one and a half feet across. One theory of why they're so rare is that they may actually have two different life phases. It's been suggested that for most of their lives they exist as bottom-dwelling animals that hide in the silt of the seabed, and it's only when they reach adulthood and are ready to mate that they swim out into the water as a floating jellyfish. Number 5. Blue Button Jellyfish Found in waters across the planet, blue buttons are famed for their incredible colorations and the fanning tentacles that surround a central disc. While this creature may look like a jellyfish, especially when it's in the water, it's actually a colony of thousands of tiny organisms in a similar way to the Portuguese man-of-war. Usually growing to around one and a half inches across, they behave in the same way as a jelly, floating across the water and using their tentacle-like structures to capture prey. Normally you'd only see one or two at a time out in the ocean, but on occasion individuals will become trapped in rock pools on the beach or in extremely rare circumstances, huge swarms can be washed ashore. This happened in Australia a few years ago when the residents of St. John's County started finding a large number of them on the beach. Quite why this had happened in an area that rarely sees any of the creatures never became clear, but it's believed to have been a result of increasing sea temperatures. That means they're reproducing far faster than before in regions that previously were inaccessible to them. Number 4. Deepstaria Enigmatica In 2012, a strange video started circulating online that was said to have been recorded by an underwater camera at a deep-sea drilling platform and it appeared to show a weird object floating past. Among suggestions that it was a plastic bag or even a whale placenta, but once marine biologists were able to study the images, they soon realized it was a type of deep-sea jellyfish called a Deepstaria enigmatica. The name itself suggests how rare and unknown these animals are, with the first one being scientifically recorded as recently as 1967. Their bells can grow to around two feet across, and without any tentacles, it's quite easy to mistake them for plastic bags in the water. They're most commonly found in the cold waters of the Antarctic, but have occasionally been seen elsewhere around the world at depths between 1,900 and 5,700 feet. Unlike most other jellies, the deep staria is a completely solitary animal that lives its entire life alone, and it's believed to be capable of self-fertilizing in order to procreate. The huge bell that these jellies develop is used for propelling themselves through the water, as well as acting as a large net to capture prey within, and the mesh within the bell is how the nutrients are transported throughout the body. Number 3. Lion's Mane Jellyfish One of the largest known species of jellyfish in the world is the lion's mane jellyfish, and any encounter with one of these in the ocean is sure to be a surprising experience. 
Found in the colder waters of the Atlantic and Pacific, particularly in the English Channel, the North Sea, and the Irish Sea, the largest specimen to have ever been found measured an astonishing 7 feet across the bell and had tentacles that were up to 120 feet long. Their thick plume of tentacles acts in the same way as those of other jellies, with stingers lined up along them to paralyze and capture prey before pulling it in and moving it up towards the mouth, which is underneath the bell. What's unusual about this is that unlike other jellies that have a fairly circular bell, the one of the lion's mane jellyfish is made up of eight lobes that almost look like an eight-pointed star. Each of these lobes will hold between 70 and 150 tentacles that are arranged in rows, and near the mouth at the center there's a further thousand or so tentacles. What's most surprising of all is that they're a shallow water species and will rarely go to depths beneath 66 feet. They're also limited to cold waters and a fair degree of salinity, which means that even if they do venture elsewhere, which does happen on occasion, they'll become unable to function. Number 2. Fish Inside a Jellyfish Jellyfish are often found on beaches around the world, and while you hear of how they capture food with their tentacles and then pass it up to their mouths, it's extremely rare to actually see this process in action. This made it all the more surprising when a wildlife photographer was taking his dog for a walk one morning in August of 2021 along a beach in Cornwall in the UK and found this incredible sight in front of him. A compass jellyfish had been washed up onto the sand during a storm the night before and amazingly still had a meal visibly present inside of its bell. It's quite common for young fish to actually use the tentacles of jellyfish as protection from predators while they're growing up, but it looks as if this one managed to get stung itself and became the jellyfish's final meal. Amazingly, the fish fills the entire width of the jellyfish's belly and would surely have most likely provided enough nutrition for the jelly to survive for several weeks had it not found itself on a beach. Number 1. Psychedelic Medusa of all the stunning species of jellyfish that can be found around the world, there's one that stands out above the rest, the so-called psychedelic medusa jelly. It's a deep-sea species that lives in the warmer regions of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. This footage was recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration during an exploration in deep waters around Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, when at the time the creature was hovering above the sea floor, almost looking like a precious gem that was suspended in the water. With its tentacles extending out in all directions, it's believed to have been 360 degree feeding, whereby it uses the appendages to filter small creatures from the water as it flows past. The lights from the submersible cause the jelly's internal organs to glow pink and purple, and the way that the tips of the tentacles exhibit these colors too suggests that they're laden with venom. After staying in a pose like this for a while, the jelly was then seen frantically swimming, which researchers believed was its attempt to move to a new position, where it could begin the feeding process all over again. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best animal-related videos.